Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Abdul Nasser from Qalam Institute. So I wanted to share a little story with y'all today that's uh, very insightful and entertaining. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is about 50 years old at this time. He's been preaching and teaching Islam for about 10 years. And there's a lot of opposition, a lot of persecution, a lot of difficulty. But he hasn't lost his mercy and his compassion and his patience and forbearance. So one day he's walking uh, outside of Mecca in the, one of the outer lying regions of Mecca, the city. And he comes across a man, a very famous man by the name of Rukana. Rukana was Quraysh's strongest man. He was like the wrestling champ. And so the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, sees him and says, Rukana, I'd like to talk to you about something. Now the narration mentions that Rukana didn't like the Prophet ﷺ. Not for personal reasons, but because he knew the Prophet ﷺ was preaching and teaching Islam. And he, Rukana didn't understand Islam, so he just was apprehensive about it. So the Prophet Muhammad says, let's talk. He says, why don't we wrestle? And then we'll talk. So the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ says, sure, I'm down to wrestle. And so they set up and they start wrestling. And the Prophet Muhammad picks up Rukana and body slams him. Now Rukana is like shocked. He's had the wind knocked out of him. He's never been beaten before. And so the Prophet, he gets up and he doesn't understand what happened. He goes, let's go again. And they wrestle a second time and the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, body slams him again. Rukana gets up completely just shocked, says again. And the Prophet Muhammad picks him up and body slams him again. Now Rukana is just, doesn't understand even what's going on. So he says to the Prophet Muhammad, he goes, you have to understand, I've never been beaten before. No one has ever slammed me on the ground before. I don't understand what's going on. So the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, let me show you something even more amazing than that. And there was a tree, this is a prophetic miracle, a tree in the distance, and he calls the tree, he says, come here. And the tree moves from its place and comes to the Prophet ﷺ. He then tells the tree, now go back, and the tree goes back to its place. And he looks over at Rukana, and Rukana says, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah I bear witness that there is no one worthy of worship but Allah God alone and I bear witness that you are the messenger of God At that point in time the prophet Muhammad peace be upon him congratulates Rukana and goes about his way So this is a beautiful story of how the prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him preached and taught Islam I want us to take a couple of seconds to reflect on the story and how profound of a story it is. The Prophet Muhammad wasallam is the most blessed human being that ever walked the face of this earth. He's the beloved of Allah. Every second, every minute, every moment of his life and his time is so precious, so valuable. But at the same time, he cared about people so much and understood people and invested in people and accommodated people that he spent the afternoon wrestling with a man understand what that exactly means. That, and say so he could have gone to him and just laid a lecture on him and then walked away, handed him a pamphlet and just walked away. But the Prophet Wasallam would take the time to understand people and he would accommodate people because he cared about people, he loved people. And so the man says, I want to wrestle. He goes, we can wrestle if that's what you want to do. And because he was willing to invest in people, that's why they loved him. That's why they listened to him. That's why they embraced him. And because of that, they were able to embrace Islam and get to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So let's all of us take a minute to take a little bit of time to learn about the Prophet wasallam. this amazing man who cared about people so much. He loved us and all of mankind so much. And the next time you're presented with the opportunity to talk to somebody about Islam, take a minute to understand who that person is and let's do it on their terms, not my terms but I should be willing to accommodate somebody and talk to them on their terms. And if that involves a little bit of wrestling, then so be it. We'll get some physical exercise while we're at it as well. Jazakumullah khairan. I want to thank everyone for taking the time to listen. Until next time, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.